So the ulnar nerve at the elbow is a snake. Some bite and some don't. They can be a challenge. Our goal is to charm that snake and make sure that there's no compression, mark no tension, and no subluxation. Elbow flexion leads to compression. You've shown us that. The diameter of the tunnel decreases by 55% for all the reasons that you said, and that leads to compression on that nerve. Your operation will take care of that compression, as you've said. But you also mentioned the tension. So Tom Wright taught us that there's about five millimeters of elongation, and that tension remains high with flexion even after decompression. The maximum stretch that you can get on the ulnar nerve is with shoulder abduction, elbow flexion, and wrist extension as shown here by the boss and also, as you know, in throwing athletes. You've done nothing to relieve tension, Mark. This woman also happens to have a valgus elbow from a missed montage as a child. She has a huge nerve because she happens to also have acromegaly. And the mass effect of a cyst that's at the elbow, you may be able to manage through that uh, simple decompression, but this is another site of compression. And Mark, after you release the nerve, this is what happened. This woman is a young 55. As Mark Recant will tell you, his group looked at predicting revision following insight to decompression, and it was higher in people under the age of 40. Actually, I think it was 50. She's a young 55, and she doesn't smoke. Stad and Nyman showed that uh, with subcutaneous transposition, there was a higher incidence of recurrence in smokers. Mark, it wasn't over then, and it is not over now. Move the nerve. Key points in subcutaneous transposition, we all know. We want that generous release proximally. We don't have to mess with the intermuscular septum in a simple decompression, but we do when we move the nerve anteriorly. And we have to watch for sharp bends. So when that nerve goes back underneath the FCU, I believe that you should soften that bend by just releasing about 20% of the posterior aspect of the flexor pronator mass. Mark, you know there's no uh, difference in results between simple decompression and subcutaneous transposition in multiple studies. And hot wiring the nerve, Mark, really. The conclusions are that there are universal principles in ulnar nerve surgery. We want to protect the MABC. We want a straight pass for the nerve. Uh, we want to do hemostasis. It's one of the few operations where I let down the tourniquet before I put on a dressing and move them early. Thank you very much.